You know, shooting these 22s makes me feel like a Padawan all over again. Stand by! Guns are up. <laughs> no need to pick brass, but I do want those shotguns. That could have been Jedi. There was no smoke coming out of those guns. <laughs> Don't adjust the settings on your devices. That was indeed me shooting. And if you're wondering where all of my smoke went, well, it's impossible to find 22 caliber ammo loaded with black powder. Howdy all you cowboys, cowgirls, gunfighters, and gamblers. On today's episode of Jedi TV, I want to talk to you about and focus on the loadout I use when I'm doing some cowboy action plinking with 22s. But first, a quick little backstory. This episode was filmed in Ravensdale, Washington, at the home of the Cascade Ghost Riders, where my pard Lawbreaker, who you've seen on the show many, many times, puts on this unique annual match. And I gotta say, this match ranks right up there with my favorite matches ever. After watching this episode, I think you'll understand why. It's such a fun, unique, and creative idea. See, Lawbreaker also runs a modern shooting discipline out at the same range. And he uses this annual as a way to really combine the two shooting sports into one, bringing folks from both disciplines together. I mean, there's more to it than that, but I'm trying to keep the backstory brief so that we can focus on the loadout for today's episode. One of the ways Lawbreaker is able to combine the shooting disciplines is by opening up the choice of firearms, so you don't just have to shoot cowboy guns. Which is great, because it gives folks like myself who shoot cowboy all the time an opportunity to dust off some of their more modern firearms that might be collecting dust in their gun safe or in their armory. And I know, I had the option presented to me and I still chose to shoot cowboy style firearms. But look, this is the first time Lawbreaker did this annual and I wanted to do something that I felt comfortable with. Yeah. The next time I attended this match, I took some more modern gear, but you'll have to stay tuned for that. I want to focus on today's loadout. So Lawbreaker also narrows down the number of category choices to something really simple. As you can see on screen, there are five options, all quite a bit different from the standard cowboy action shooting category. There's no breakdown in categories, separating them by shooting style or age or gender or propellant type. But each of the categories allows you to mix and match the revolver shooting styles. So if it seems like it would be advantageous to shoot revolvers gunfighter style on a particular stage, and you can do it safely, that would be allowed. And all but one of the categories are based on being a law enforcement officer, with the fifth category being wanted, where your persona is that of a outlaw. Of course, my first temptation was to shoot in the wanted category and ride with the outlaws, but ultimately I decided to shoot cadet. As much as I love the stuff that goes boom and shoots a big flame and fills the bay with smoke, there's just something about 22s that I've always loved. 
And since I rarely get the opportunity to shoot mine, this match seemed like the perfect time to get them off the wall and get them out to the range for a little exercise. One. Ah. Yeah, right? Also, Lawbreaker writes some great stories to go along with each stage. And of course, those stories fit the theme of the Ranger Roundup. Have a listen to one. All right, you got three uh, ornery characters you got to apprehend on this here stage. Wanted, dark-sided, slithering, hair flinging, no questions. Carl's Bad Kid, GD Rattler, and Jedi Knight. Armed and very dangerous. $30,000. $30, they must need it. some honorary coyotes. All right, I'm going to tell you how this out. is, and I'll give you a show, and then we'll get it going. Yeah, You're going to start out 10-10 and as needed, just like I told you all, all day today. Shooter starts standing in a rifle box, rifle in hand, shotgun stage, on or in a partner, on or in a partner, depending on what you want to do. Either one of those partners is fine. And obviously pistols are holstered. Shooter's gonna say, go ahead, make my day. At, with a rifle at the beat, engage four tombstones as follows. You're gonna single tap an outside tombstone, then triple tap an inside tombstone, and then single tap the same outside tombstone that you started with. Then go to the other side of the tombstones, do the same thing, single tap an outside tombstone, triple tap the inside tombstone, single tap the, the one you, you started on. Shotgun, engage poppers, and there's only three, poppers and a cylinder, anyway, from anywhere there, make the rifle safe. So you can use both partners if you want, you can use one partner if you want, don't make no mind. Make it safe. Make it safe. Your call. I would not trust that fence to make it safe. I would probably use a partner. And then with uh, your pistols, engage the targets from any location in the same manner as your rifle. Any questions about that? You know what? $30,000, I'm tempted to turn myself in. Stand by. Not a bad lick. Yeah. Two-handed. Yeah, that's clean. Atta boy. <laughs> nice, nice run. Grab those log guns, go to the unloading table, get cleared. Guns are up! Okay, now for the details of my loadout, starting with the rifle. This thing's a hoot, I'm telling you. <laughs> it is so fun to shoot. What is it? A 9422. Oh, that's so cool. Winchester, Winchester yeah. I mean, it's like a little sewing machine out there. Yeah. This was one of the very first firearms I ever purchased. Back when I was just a young Padawan. It must have been 1987 or 1988. Mine is the 22 long rifle model. I've seen him in Magnum, but I feel the same way now as I did back then. The long rifle chambering is best for plinking and target shooting, especially since it's considerably less expensive to operate. And as you can see, it's extremely accurate and runs real smooth. For shotgun, I used my trusty Winchester model 1897. This one was originally owned by Purgatory's grandpa, Rogue River Ranger. So it's a pretty special piece in my collection. 
I don't shoot the Model 97 pumps often, but it seemed appropriate for this match since I could stoke it up for all of these stages. So let me know down in the comments, what shotgun would you like to see me run with this loadout? As for pistols, I used my fantastic set of Ruger single sixes. These are the 50th anniversary models that came out in 2003. They have a four and five eighths inch barrel, a gold inlaid roll mark that says 50 years of single six, 1953 to 2003. And they have the Coco Bolo wood grip panels with the red Ruger medallions. They're a really unique little revolver and function smooth and reliably. These Rugers were also the guns that Kook used when she first started shooting. Another of the added benefits for me in shooting this gear is that I don't have to run home and immediately clean guns like I do when I'm shooting my regular black powder loadouts. All right, y'all. I hope you got a good feel for what this match is like. It's one that I look forward to every year and I do plan on bringing you more footage from the Cascade Ghost Riders in the future. So stay tuned for that. To the powers that be at YouTube that don't care for this type of video, I'm not promoting the manufacturing and or selling of any firearms. In fact, most of the firearms used on this episode are no longer even manufactured. To the viewers of this episode, this video is likely to be demonetized by YouTube. So if you're watching and you enjoy this type of content, then please consider leaving me a tip or buying me a coffee or joining my channel memberships or my Patreon. Make sure you hit that like button, smash, or make sure you're a subscriber too. That's right. All the good things. All the good content. All the YouTube things. Any of those actions help fund this type of content. I appreciate it. I'm Jed, this is Jedi TV, and I'll see you in some other place, in some other time. It's the end of the line for you. Stand by. Table. Nicely done. Good lick. <laughs> Howdy all you cowboys, cowgirls, gunfighters, and gamblers. On this, I think this chair is about to fall apart. Oh, the long rifle changer changering changering. <laughs> How about chain chambering? <laughs> For a shotgun, I used my trusty Winchester model 198 1987. How about 1897. One of the things I've challenged myself with or tasked myself with this year is to shoot some different categories and try some different firearms. So expect to see some new stuff mixed in with my traditional black powder gunfighter, of course, on future episodes. <laughs>